Please proceed to your assigned evacuation center as quickly as possible. Space on the ship is limited. Carry only items essential for your daily needs. If you have anything suspicious, please go to the and report it to a firefighter. <laughs> You have targets moving on your position in force. Get ready! Move your ass in here! I'm not dying for you! Time to die! Somebody shut up the screamer! waiting for hey and here they come shit got it take them down everybody head over now Stop! We gotta get off the streets! Here they come! For God's sake, get them back! No turning back now.
Galaxy. They're gonna steamroll the army and then they'll be back. This is our only chance to get out. Not going into the subway. You've heard the stories. We will starve here. Do you understand? The subway is our only chance. We take it to the river and get the fuck out of New York. Or we die here. I don't like him, but he's right. We good, Bunko? I'll have your back. We're good. Dan, you hear me? Hey, what's up? I don't see you guys on the roof. Yeah, we're going for it. Join the subway to Inwood. Over. Get in the elevator now. Reload. Throwing a grenade. I'm out of ammo. Ammo break. We gotta get in the elevator, now! Elevator on its way! Mm, take that! Both gonna charge! This ain't your floor! Sneaky Zeke is close. position to take him out. A couple of shots would probably drop those hacky stars on him. Far side of the store. When we 
Get outside. Don't stop until you hit the subway. Razor wire in place. Here they come!
So um, we've, we've chosen to stick more to the movie universe, but what we loved so much about the book is the way it tells the story. You get a picture of this entire um, war, this period in history, through the eyes of many different people all around it. So we've gone for a similar thing with the game. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so we tell, we have in the release, the initial release, we have uh, three episodes, and each episode deals with a different group of survivors. So there's 12 characters in total in the game. That's fantastic. All playable. And uh, we've got an episode in Moscow, Russia. We've got an episode in Jerusalem, Israel, and an episode in New York City. Oh, that makes me so yeah. excited. I, I'm, I have to explain, I'm so, so excited because, you know, these are these are, are very, very pivotal moments in the book yes. that take place in the, in exactly. the places you've mentioned. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've set yeah. in those locations. Cool, good. Now this game is uh, four player co-op. Yes. And anytime that something else is, is, has a, like a byline that's yeah. similar to another game, yeah. uh, it gets compared to it. So Left 4 Dead 2, or Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, yes. the, the series, yeah. is also a four player co-op with zombies and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Tell us the difference Okay. So that this game makes. You've mentioned the similarities, four player co-op and zombies. Yep. Beyond that, we've gone a very different direction. Um, as I've already said, we deal with massive numbers of zombies in this game. So you'll be facing 500 at a time with okay. just four of you holding out against them. Um, and uh, it's third person as well. Um, and it's more of a, there are strategic elements to it which are completely new, new to the zombie uh, genre. So. You, when you're facing these zombies, you're going to have the opportunity to build up defenses from scavenged uh, defense kits that you find lying around. And you oh, okay, to, okay. You've got limited resources, so you can't just build whatever you want. Okay. So you've got to think on your feet, grab what you have, and then uh, place it around the environment as best you can. Um, and then grab heavy weapons and just face massive, massive numbers as they come pouring in. Um, some environments are closed, and so you want to use them in a certain way. Other environments, there's a, uh, a scene in Moscow, uh, a huge frozen river right outside the Kremlin, completely undefendable, and you've got to do what you can to hold your ground. So, so yeah. what kinds of and weapons? No pills. No pills in our game. No pills. <laughs> yeah. No pills. <laughs> How about puke? Yeah. Uh, no comment. Oh, <laughs> there might be some puke. <laughs> um, what kinds of weapons can we expect to be using in this game? We have really gone for it with the weapons. There's a huge number. You've got three classes of weapons. You've got your primary, your secondary, and your heavy. Um, primary weapons, we've got something for everybody. We've got uh, assault rifles, we've got shotguns, we've got sawn off shotguns, we've got crossbows uh, with exploding tips, uh, no less. Um, and we've got SMGs, um, a variety of different of those weapons. Secondaries, we've got silenced pistols, sawn off double barrel shotguns, and then heavy, we've got uh, rapid fire combat shotguns, RPGs, heavy machine guns. We've gone for as much as we possibly can. You actually like with your with your cadence, your your speech pattern, and your <laughs> accent. You sound like you could be like a nefarious like <laughs> weapons dealer. Yeah. Like you like opened the trunk and you were just listing off all the stuff you have for sale and stuff. Yeah. Nice work. Have very you good. seen that scene in Taxi Driver where he goes to buy a gun? He's like, it's a very nice gun. I got this. Yes. Gun. I got this. That's that's me now. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. I'll be Travis Pick. Okay. That's scary. But yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. So the hordes of zombies in this game. I, I think. I think it's very, very unique because, like in the movie, yeah. they're going to just be constantly running over each other, and, yeah. and that means that they could be piling on top of each other and yes, then indeed. running over the pile. So yeah. you know they'd be able to maybe possibly reach you on the second floor, yeah. where you think you're perfectly safe. Oh, yeah. So I think that's a really interesting thing to bring to this genre, especially. I mean, we're. We're pretty much getting used to fast You can zombies. see right there, they're actually pyramiding up there now. It oh my god. And climbing the That's, walls. To me, that is terrifying. If I was playing this yeah. game, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's great because the guys have put such an enormous amount of work into the physics system that governs those, those zombies and how they move. And so you're never safe anywhere. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, they will climb the walls, they'll climb over buildings. And actually, when we were designing the zombies, we put a lot of thought into the psychology of the zombie. Um, because, of course, they have no fear. There's, they're not like another enemy where you can break their morale. They're not afraid of their own, uh, they're not afraid of injuring themselves. So if they see you, they will throw themselves from the rooftops. Um, they will climb through burning cars. They'll do anything to get to you and they won't stop. No, um, that's, that's one of the awesome things that, that we're talking about. Uh, before we got on stage here was the the zombie AI and yeah. the, how they work and stuff yeah. like that. And I love, I've always liked the idea better uh, of an intelligent or 
a more like a, a hunter yeah. uh, zomb- uh, yeah. zombie. Also, uh, can we call him Zeke's? We can call them Zeke. <laughs> By the yeah, way, zombies are Zeke. sometimes called Zeke's in yeah. this game and the in the books and the movies and stuff. <laughs> so let's call them Zeke's from now on. Yeah. You heard it here. Uh, anyway, uh, no, I love the I love that uh, the idea of of hunting. Like they're they're trying to eat you for food or trying to trying to procreate, which yeah. are like the two basis instincts of yeah, yeah, any yeah. living thing. There's no zombie procreation in our game, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm afraid there's, yeah. There's... Oh, that's, so, that, that's what I meant. I didn't mean, like, making love. <laughs> okay. I meant, like, biting and, tur- ah, and turning. Transmission. Okay. That's what I meant. Okay, right, I see, okay. But you might have a gutter, man. Come I'm on. Like, what can I do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, they, do they, because uh, it looks like they flow like an like a ant hive. Yes. Or ant hive. Ant uh-huh. colony. Yeah. There you go. Ant colony. Yeah. An ant hive. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let's make some metaphors. Sure. sure. Um, but yeah, it looks like they like work like yes, that. Like, they do. like they swarm. They're not. They're not just five hundred uh, kind of independent individuals. They respond as a swarm, um, and so they will move and flow uh, not just with. The, I mean, when they see you, they'll move towards you the best way they can. But if there's a wall in the way, they'll pyramid up and try and get over the top of each other and, and over the edge. Um, but uh, also, a lot of them, if you shoot them and they collapse in front of you, the ones behind will just trample over the top of them. Just so, to get to you. Exactly, just to get to you. And I can tell you, when you're standing there and the only thing you've got is a, a you've run out of primary uh, ammo and you've just got your silenced pistol and you've got 300 <laughs> zombies coming towards you, it's pretty damn scary. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's going to be me, obviously, because I'm nev- I've am i never been very accurate. I've always been a, a, a spray and pray kind of guy. Yeah. But thankfully, you said there's a myriad of weapon choices, so yes. I can be the heavy guy. Yes, you can. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not well, just the heavy guy. But there's, uh, <laughs> we've got character development, so you've got progression. You, uh, I mean, as you build up experience, you can develop your character. You specialize in a class. You have a skill okay. tree. You've got weapon progression as well, so you're customizing your weapons and building up on that. Um, so there's just so much room for growth in the game. Can you tell us more about the characters? Are these player yeah. created or are these uh, specific characters specific. that you've written? Yeah, so we've written these characters. We've put a lot of thought into their backstories. Um, we try, what I like so much about the book is uh, there's a lot of normal people who, who survived in the war because of characteristics they already had. We've gone down the same route. So in the New York episode that we're demoing, you've got uh, Arnetta Larkin, who uh, was a, uh, she's a woman. She's doing uh, cable rigging for a power company. And she's just trying to get home to her kids to see if they're still alive. We've got um, Tashawn Collins, who is uh, a firefighter, was a firefighter. We've got- we thought the war would stop them. We hoped the cold would freeze them. We thought the army would crush them. But nothing worked. We were all alone. This will be the plague with which the Lord shall strike all men. We are all that's left of a city beyond redemption, fulfilling our sacred duty to free the souls of the damned. Got to go up here! Mindset. That should halt. Father, forgive us. We shed this blood in the name of mercy.
Nobody is leaving anybody. The subway is our only chance. We take it to Inwood, get to the evac center, and get the fuck out of New York, or we die here. World War Z is a third-person multiplayer action shooter based in the World War Z movie universe. This is just a game about sitting down, having fun, and just having the crap scared out of you when you're chased by thousands of zombies. This game was really designed as a session-based game. If you have 10 or 15 or 20 free minutes, you're gonna wanna sit down, you're gonna wanna play. We think it's a game people are just gonna really enjoy playing with their friends or with people they meet online. Players need to cooperate to survive. And if you run off on your own or you wanna be rogue, you're gonna have a problem. You have to cooperate with your teammates or you'll die. As these massive numbers of enemies are coming towards you, you're raining down grenade launchers, rocket launchers, heavy machine guns, and just watching absolute carnage unfold in front of you. The origin is really just uh, one guy's passion. It was Matt saying, I want to make this game. There's a certain scene in the movie where they are in Jerusalem and swarms of zombies climb over a wall. And when I saw that, that's when I realized that we needed to make this game. Because if we can recreate this, then we have something on our hands. I was a huge fan of the book. Um, and so before I had seen the movie, I uh, was already a fan of the franchise. We've taken uh, this great source material and then pushed it in a direction that we, we tend to enjoy. World War Z uh, takes place over a number of different episodes, and each of those episodes tells its own story. Each of those episodes has its own group of survivors. Most importantly, we wanted to just create characters that had their own unique vibes and personalities. One of my favorite things about demoing this game to the press is seeing their reactions the first time 500 zombies come pouring off the Moscow Bridge towards them. I've heard some colorful language used to describe it. As an enemy, the zombies are utterly fearless. They will throw themselves from the top of skyscrapers to get to you. They will run through fire. They will climb over burning cars. They will track the player. Um, they will follow uh, sound and activity. They will climb on top of each other, creating pyramids to reach you no matter where you are. You wouldn't see um, zombies that look like this if we didn't have the World War Z licensing. There are many, many, many more zombies in our game than in anything else you're gonna play. I and mean, what makes them different is the speed at which they appear and the way in which they operate in kind of a cohesive fashion. One thing we really focused on was the physics of these uh, zombies. So we created our own engine called the Swarm Engine. It allows us to have 500 enemies on screen all at the same time, um, not just as individual AI characters, but working as a, as a network, like a school of fish or a flock of birds. All the zombies on the scene are controlled as one single entity. However, when players start to interact with zombies, individual zombies peel off from the swarm and can attack the player individually. The game understands and reacts to the skill level and the actions of the player. And so every time you play the game, the game plays out differently. The more skilled you are, the more enemies you're likely to face. The zombies aren't the only threat in the game. We also have a PvPVE mode where you'll be battling kind of rival human beings. Um, but imagine in the background of that, swarms of 500 zombies all pouring out to attack anything that's alive. Those swarms can be manipulated so that it can be used almost like a sword or a shield. So if I'm on one team and, and let's say, you know, my buddy is playing on the other team, I can project sounds or somehow direct zombie swarms toward him so that he gets distracted and then I can take him out. Saber put a lot of blood and sweat and heart and soul into making this game. We want this to be an enjoyable experience where you kill lots of zombies. Maybe this is gonna sound presumptuous or crazy or ridiculous, but we think everyone will enjoy World War Z. We hope that our players will have as much fun playing the game as we had building the game.